to ask you very politely, calmly, and nicely. To get out of bed! everyone, how you doing? Oh, it's hot today. Just come out of a 28 degree workroom. It's pretty warm. The temperature outside is not that, but because of my lights and stuff in there, it puts the temperature up and makes it even hotter. So, what I'm going to now head down to the broads. I'm going to have a little look around Sutton Stave, see if I can find a corner or something out of the wind, because it's a very windy day today. 22 mile an hour winds which is obviously a pain so let's try and find ourselves a little corner where we can have a food cast and hopefully catch a few fish that's the plan anyway Walk around to me swim, got me rod and stuff with me, baits, somewhere to sit, uh, filming gear, and landing there. So I'll spin you around and show you what's what, and let's get floating the water and see how we go on. So we've got maggots, crushed up bread, normal bread, worms, meat. There's my landing net. Got me little rod with me today. So, as you can probably hear, it's very, very windy. I'm fishing down here in the lilies. Um, I put a bit of bait out, got a few fish starting to come up on the surface, but no bites on the actual float yet. Just to hide the other side of the boats there, there's a couple of people fishing on their boat. They're on a holiday boat or something like that. So, now we're just Put a bit of ground bait down there, took them through Springman's uh, maggots down there. We're now just trying to get a bite. <laughs> so 
So I'm on the little go on the end of this jetty now where the float is. It's on the left of the picture in these little lilies. Still no bites yet. Just sort of moving around a little bit now. Trying to find some fish. I've only been here 10 minutes in this, in this case of just working out and seeing what's what. <laughs> Let's feed a bit of hemp then. Close in down here as well, shall we? I'm sure we'll better get something feeding, surely. <laughs> right, you've got to try these new spots to. See if there's any fish in them. So I'm now in the little go in the lilies behind this boat here. As you can probably see. Oh, I just dropped a good roach and now I've got a good. <laughs> so I'm starting to get a few bites. <clears throat> Little gudgeon for you. So the roach is actually quite a nice roach. It was, I don't know, three quarters of a pound, something like that, right? A good roach. So hopefully we get some more. And we have another fish. What have we got this time? Another gudgeon, a bit bigger. Well, quite a bit bigger. <laughs> Good, <laughs> Let's spin this one round, shall we? Wee, tiny little thing. They're cute little things, aren't they? <laughs> little gudgeon. Let's get him back in. So, what I've done, I've plumbed the depth. And where I'm fishing down there, I've got about a foot and a half of water. <laughs> so, not very deep. So, what I'm going to do is go further out there. Well, I'm not going to go further out there, but I'm going to bait further out there for a little while. And then go on it in sort of half an hour's time or something like that and see if there's anything bigger than that. And so we did lose a decent roach and we're still getting bites down there every cast so let's do both swims and see what we can get. So we right, throw this in is going to be the second swim out there. So we'll feed it for half an hour or so get a few fish moving on it. We'll stick the float over it in a little while. I have to pre plumb the depth because that's totally different to what I've got here. So yeah, somewhere sort of there is where we're going to fish. Close in on this one as well. Just see if we can keep it going down here for a bit longer. And then it looks over deep enough. And see what we can do out there. Wind is still very windy. I'm gonna scatter some handfuls of hemp right on the farm. One as well. Do. So you should better see the float, that's why I'm fishing close in down there. It's gone a bit slow since I've chucked the feed in, so I've probably overfed it a little bit. Right. So we'll keep fishing down here for the half an hour, then we'll go out on the far swim a little bit bait. Thank 
stuff moving in the water. It's a fry and stuff like that. Yes, Sean. this time. No, no. <laughs> Jumped at me in. They're pain dolls. <laughs> okay, Mr. Broad. So, it's been 20 minutes or so now. We're now on the fast one. We're gone. Some more fish out there. I'm obviously got to work fairly quickly. And again, I'll work straight away.
Gebäudes. So, seem to have gone a little bit quiet. I'm at a point now for about 15 20 minutes. Still out on the far one. Doing my best to get a bite out there. The thinking is it's a bit deeper, so I've got more chance of getting a bream or a nice sized roach or perch, something like that. Whereas, obviously, close in down here, there's only like a foot and a half deep. Don't get me wrong, you can catch it out and probably get a decent perch down there, but. On sort of both swims really and I think the deeper one's probably best for me to do at the moment. The sun's gone down behind the trees so it's quite shady around here. So it's probably the thing to do. Fish up oh no just lost a bream. Really annoying. Well that was really annoying. Just lost a bream sort of three or four pound really nice fish come up to the surface, started to come in, ding, hook went. Really annoying. But at least we know there's some good fish down there. It's worth waiting until five, ten minutes for a boy. if that's going to be a nice fish. So I'm back out on the same spot. Probably disturb the swim a little bit, so we'll give it a few minutes to settle down again and hopefully we'll get another bite. I cannot believe this, it just happened again. Boom, 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 started to come in. Lost it. What's going on? Well, the bream is definitely down in the swim, which is good. I lost three in a row, which is crazy. Hopefully we're gonna get the next one. I'm wondering if it's got my little rod with me tonight and I can't strike properly. The distance I'm fishing out. So if I had a bigger rod, I'd be able to strike above. The bait that's even working at the moment is a uh, three different coloured maggots. Well, that was a bit crazy. The camera just picked up a camera. The wind just picked up a camera and a whole tripod and towards the water. Luckily, I was quick enough to grab it, but yeah, it's getting rough.
Well, we've landed a skimmer. Not too bad size. But I've had three or four now on probably five times as those that, which is annoying. But at least we landed one. Let's put this one back and see if we can find some bigger ones. Fish on! <laughs> Fish all over me. Golden rod. Lovely jubbly. Still coming in. The bikes are much harder to get now. Uh, it's obviously even time now, it's starting to get duller. Normally the bikes start to sort of drop off. Might have only been here, what? Uh, about an hour and a half or so, something like that. A couple of hours at the most. Picked up into a load of weed on the bottom in front of me as well. So we'll get rid of that. Yummy! <laughs> Fish on! Way! Pike on! <laughs> Pike took it on the way in. As you probably saw. We will land as a totally different thing. <laughs> Not very likely. This tiny little rod, but we'll have a good go. I hope that was all on camera. That was pretty crazy. Still trying to jump up. Oh, that might benefit been a few down there. Very careful. I've got four pound nine on a tiny little rod. <laughs> Starting to work out his hook, I think. It's taking me in the lily. Still got the fish in its mouth for looks things. Let's get it in the net. Wow. Well, we landed it somehow. Pretty cool. There we go. There he is. Oops, no, he's not having it.
keep him on the soft grass. There he is. Mr. Pike come in and took my rod on the way in. <laughs> yeah, lovely fish. Certainly won't expect one of them today. Quickly show the other side and we'll get it back in. Lovely job. Let's get it back in the water. Wow, we certainly weren't expecting that, were we? We're rolling in on the quarter pound, half pound rod. Nice one. And it comes flying out of the water. I hope I got it on film, actually. And yeah, so yummy. <laughs> and his dinner. I thought they'd gone a bit quiet down there. Now we know why. So I'm just baiting up again. Get a few more casts in before I start. That's all I'm doing. My sponge will make it slight so. Get them back out there in the water. Thought the bream had gone a bit quiet. And that'll be the reason. <coughs> Whew, I'm knackered. That took me all round the back of the yard there into the private bit and all over the place. <laughs> We landed it, which is crazy, on this little rod and size 14 hook. Show what you can do if you play them nicely. Rested it down the side of the swim down there. That swam off perfectly good, so awesome. It's lovely and peaceful in the boatyard now. Most people in, in their boats. And, or, you know, get ready to get a bed or just sit there with a drink, etc. Wind has died down enough to not make the water go too crazy now, which is nice. But the trouble is, this time of night, it's when they stop biting. Especially if you've got a pike in the swim. But whatever. Go for a look along this, so we can get a couple more fish. You never know. Still got a bit of wind in the trees, but got some lovely skies going on in the background over there. Let's flip the bear with me. Let's flip the gone now. Oh, it's just the people in their holiday boats. And we're still fishing down there on the old flat. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Decent sized brain. Just give me a sec to unhook it. And something moving back in. Pretty cool. And there we go. Lovely jubbly. I don't wonder who are them, do we? Nice. Let's get it back in then, shall we? So we're not doing too bad. Fish on, everyone. Fish on. What have we got this time? Just the rod. Because normally, it's what this time of evening, it starts to go slow. I don't know if you can see that. It's the golden rod. I'm trying to be quick at the moment now because I'm running out of light, so I want to catch a few more if I can. 
Not a bad decision. Not a bad decision. see pearl of light come around and say hello to me he said you look a very professional angle with all your filming gear and all that there and stuff and you wanted to come and say hello so nice to meet you if you watch the video sit again and have a look I'm just having a few more casts where we can just about still see the float got a lovely sunset in the background as you can probably see Still getting the odd point, but it gets a lot harder as it gets dark on the board. Sometimes you can get the bream to start feeding in the dark, but the other fish can feed them, to be fair. The roach, rod, and that sort of stuff still feeding. everyone we were on the last cast you can still just see that that's hard work <laughs> I'm still getting bites close in I've had to move close in so I can see the float I'm still getting the odd bites but they've just been a little tiny rod here we go again oh fish on <laughs> it was good timing oh, that was another one of them <laughs> I had a few of these, probably had six or seven of these in the last few casts. Well, they are still down there. But I'm not going to hang around and try and fish in the dark with no lights or nothing. Just for them, if a big bream were feeding or something like that, like I lost earlier on, then I probably would. But so I'm going to have one more cast with a bunch of maggots, and then it's going to be time to call it. Bream is still coming in, everyone. Making funny noises to me. Lovely, let's put it back. So they're still biting. It's pretty cool. So, back at the car, everyone. So that was a fun session. It was all different, wasn't it? Rod, roach, gudgeon. Small bream, some quite nice sized skimmers, and then the three big bream we lost, which is really annoying because that would have made the session. And then the massive pike that smashed the, the rud on the way in. We landed as well on a four pound line and a soft tip rod. So that was all good fun. So thanks everyone for watching, appreciate that. Thanks for people modding the channel and that sort of thing. And I'll see you all soon in the next one. Take care for now.